Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Disillusion Plays, where we play the games and do the voices. What? Last time on The Great Ace Attorney, we met the infamous Herlock Sholmes! <laughs> <laughs> Who? As he reminded us multiple times of his name so we did not forget, we began investigating the mysterious circumstances surrounding Kazuma's murder and Herlock has assumed that Ryanosuke and Kazuma were Russian. Yes. Like, very Russian indeed. Um, so yes, before we begin investigating further into this crime... He's, he, he rushed into his decision-making. Oh, for You could say he sake. rushed in his decisions. <laughs> oh... <laughs> On that though, he's I... rushing to a that... conclusion. So yeah, he... <laughs> he just said that. <laughs> no. <laughs> On that note, I'm Sarah. <laughs> I'm Pete, and I'm sorry. I mean Taylor. Why is everyone saying the sorry in the? Intro? I didn't say sorry. I said you I did... was sad. Oh. I said that. I was sad okay. last time then because let's... of Casimir. <laughs> let's get it. I'm just trying to get into character, Pete. <laughs> sorry. Here he is. There he is. There it is. So what was he investigating? What? <laughs> Before we started talking, you were examining Kazuma's desk, weren't you? Kazuma? Why, ah, yes, the victim. The victim? Did you notice anything useful? Anything at all? Well... I should certainly hope so, he considering he's about an inch away from the wood grain. Well, <laughs> well he did look distinctly Russian. But Observe for a moment the desktop of the victim. We see that the victim was engaged in penning some text. London Diary. Cosmo was keeping notes of the trip. Ah, but... Ah, you noticed it too. I, I don't think you should read his private writings. It, it could upset people. People. <laughs> People. To my right. Oh, and I'm, tragic. And I mean someone in this room. And something you ought to perhaps elucidate before the act of reading. You you mean you've read it already? Why, don't be uh -oh. ridiculous, of course. Well, you're screwed. <laughs> it is my business to know what other people do not. Yes, believe it or not, I know a smattering of Japanese. Oh, I see. Well, you're about to know what a Suzato takedown is. And no doubt she will absolutely not. No. No. <sighs> Suzato-san, aren't you aren't you going to throw the detective with one of your, your trademark takedowns? I'm sorry, Narohuda-san. What on earth do you mean? <laughs> uh <laughs> Life is so unfair. <laughs> Anyway, to return to the matter at hand, namely this diary belonging to the victim. Written in Japanese. It would appear. Not Russian. <laughs> it would appear the final sentence is incomplete, as if the author were hmm, cut short. Tell me, what is the nature of the writing? Pray to be precise as the deta as to <laughs> pray be precise as to details. Oh, but I thought you knew Japanese. I said I knew a smattering of Japanese. Yeah, there we go. A <laughs> smattering, dear boy. A smattering. Sayonara, bonsai, mikado, no, uh, nado, nado. I trust you're suitably impressed. Uh. Uh. But this diary is littered with complicated looking characters, of which I can read precisely none. <laughs> uh, that, was, that wasn't that funny. Uh, uh, so what was all that about showing off the... <laughs> if you would be so kind as to show me, I would be happy to read it to you, Mr. Sholmes. Oh, don't mind if I do. I am much obliged, my dear madame. Mm. The final entry here in Kazuma Sama's diary consists of two short sentences. The first reads, 1.23 a.m. I hear a faint whistling sound. 1.23 a.m.? Okay. Is the next going to be at 4.56 a.m.? Uh, a whistling sound? Hmm. These are very deep waters. Pray, go on. 
The second sentence reads, okay. 1.35 a.m. What looks like some sort of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A, a speckled band? What on earth does that mean? I have no idea. He was just chronicling, like, his every waking moment? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's what you do with a diary, isn't it? I have no idea. I've never heard that expression before. Hmm. The ventilator grill, you say? The man was presumably referring... To the ventilator grill, yes. Yeah. Mm. To the lattice there on the wall, which connects to the adjoining cabin. Yes, the adjoining cabin. Kazuma's diary has been entered into the court record. So, I believe I have given you enough to consider for the time being, at least. Uh, do you have somewhere to go? As it happens, the victim's writings in this diary have piqued my interest. The matter warrants further investigation, I believe. If I am still too long, the seasickness takes hold. Oh, I suppose... You're thinking of investigating the cabin next door, which the ventilator connects to? Great detectives are a curious breed. Our minds rebel at stagnation. We crave mental ex- uh, God damn it! Exultation. So, yes, I intend to investigate. Hence the truth will become clear soon enough. Do you think perhaps uh, that we could go with you? Hmm... No. That would be somewhat complicated. What? Uh, but why? A simple glance at your wrist should reveal the answer. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. These. After all, you're the prime suspect in this matter, no? There's no point trying to... <laughs> There's no point trying to turn it into a question. You're the one who decided I was the culprit in the first place. Whatever do you mean? I have no recollection of naming you as the culprit at any point. Uh, what? 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 <laughs> I'm sorry, what the actual F? Big... You must be joking! You, you just said it! Only a moment ago! Dear me, you are clearly misguided. I would have no cause to th I would have no cause to say such a thing. Beg your pardon? Well, actually, Mr. Sholmes, I did hear you say that too. You're quite sure? <laughs> well, that's very strange. <laughs> I wouldn't have said you had the face of a criminal, you know. Not Really? So, what? Were you looking at my knees before? <laughs> Some great detective you are. Well, anyway, <laughs> that was then, and this is now. What do you mean? What I mean, sir, is this. If you are the culprit, then you must play the part more convincingly. Roll over and accept your fate. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just being plain rude. <laughs> and, and off he goes, having just laughed in my face. His sense of humor is as twisted as his name. <laughs> marahodo san what are you standing there for? Hmm? We must go and investigate the cabin next door as well. He just said we can't do that. Aren't you forgetting something? What about these? There's no way I can- <laughs> Owie! After Kazuma-sama spent his dying moments struggling to leave us a clue, you're willing to give up? She's such a bully. You're just going to roll over and accept your fate? Poor Naruhudo. Uh, as if you gave me any choice in the rolling over part. <laughs> Ow. Ugh, I think we still have some investigation to finish off in here first, don't we? Do we? We do? 
I suppose we do, otherwise I wouldn't have said it, now would I? Are you sure we <laughs> investigated everything? Let's carry on examining what we can in this cabin. We wait for a chance to slip next door. Good idea. <laughs> By God, they made that animation and they are gonna <laughs> use it. They're really getting their money's worth. No, I think what what you're what you're what you're finding here is that he's actually trying to copy her gesture. It's yeah. just that obviously he's got the you know, he's, he's got, got the, the hand cuffs on. I, I thought for a brief second that Suzada was gonna like cut his handcuffs. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, like the karate chest. <laughs> Same. But no, she just, she just, she just threw him. Well, you know what she's like. The situation doesn't look good for me, but there are still things I can do to help myself. And I owe it to Kazuma to do everything I can to find a way out of this and bring the real culprit to justice. Okay. He's so, back. I am back. <laughs> the thing is, is that, yeah, I'm pretty sure we did actually- What the hell happened in here <laughs> while I was gone? I am very confused. Yeah, we have actually investigated everything. I'm sure we did. Do we need to try and talk to the, the guard again? Well, there is the move icon. I'm going to see if we can move. Thanks to that so-called detective, I'm even more stuck inside this cabin than I was before. For the time being, I suppose I'll just have to focus my efforts on investigating in here. Yeah, I wonder okay. if you're gonna have to we're going to have to convince the guard to, like, get lost. <laughs> Yeah. Because he don't think he's going to let us go otherwise. Um, excuse me. What? <laughs> I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Would you mind if I investigated a little outside? They, huh? they don't pay Another me enough joke to stay from here. Japanese man. Grandmother told me Japanese people do not make jokes, but is not true, I see. Sorry? The criminal asking prison guard to help him escape? Very funny. Ha! <laughs> We're in the middle of the sea. Uh, there's no chance of me escaping. Yet! You stay in this cabin until next port. Then it is up to Hong Kong police to decide what they do with you. Personally, I hope they cut off your fingers. Whoa! You stay! Whoa. Yikes. Wowzers. All right. There's no point in trying to appeal to this man's better nature, that's for sure. Hmm. So what do we do? do we Alright, well, it? we're just gonna grab the sword and cut off his head, right? Do we... Oh, whoopsie daisy. Sorry. Uh, there is a little thing on the floor next to the chimkin? Nope. It's the same thing. What, what's yeah, that? the knife. The knife. Yeah, no. yeah we can't click do on it. Do we have knife. to show him anything? No. Present isn't highlighted. Oh. What? Oh, hang on. Do we just click on the door? Well, maybe. When I went to help, went for help, and the crewman forced the door open. Yum. This bolt had been firmly closed. Oh my god! So okay, there was one thing we hadn't oh, investigated. For sake. <laughs> the thing next to the guy. Yeah. Uh, that's a that's a small. That's the oh bigger than the door yeah. handle. <laughs> my god. Hmm. It's quite a small bolt and not particularly sturdy. And it just slides across to secure the door shut. See, what you can't see is that this room is styled in such a way that the whole room kind of slopes. It looks like it's perspective, but actually the room's just shaped like that. So it's actually a really tiny door. <laughs> and he's a little tiny man. He's not going to let you out of the tiny door. It's like, a, it's like one of those false perspective rooms. God. But still, with the door bolted, there would be no way to get in or out of the cabin, that's for sure. It's no wonder everyone suspects me. Is she going to say she doesn't suspect him now? If she does, I tell <laughs> you. I'm going to be very cross with her. When she glares at me like that, I feel I feel tense all up and down my spine. Well, yeah, because you'll ex be expecting to get thrown on the floor, no mm. doubt. Yeah, that's that's your spine contracting itself in preparation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I remember reading once in a detective novel... The culprit used a needle and thread to draw a bolt across from outside the room in a situation like this. Uh, what? Yes, that's a clever trick, isn't it? I'm an avid reader of detective stories myself. But the door of this cabin and its frame are made of metal, and they seal together perfectly. Hmm. There would be no possibility of using that needle and thread trick here, I'm afraid. Well, unless they use it through the ventilation hmm. shaft. Like, or or if they they poisoned him through the ventilation shaft, mm. or shot him. 
Well, what I mean is that, like, they could have tied a thread to the lock, I guess, and it could be through the vent shaft, so then they can lock the door from outside. Mm. Pull the bolt across. I mean, it's. I appreciate it's a bit tenuous. The needle and sorry, the thread would have to be pretty dumb. I mean, it's sturdy. Phoenix, right? So it's not that tenuous. <laughs> yeah. Not more tenuous than committing a crime and then staging the exact same crime an hour later, but with different people. So, yeah. <laughs> well, it is. Uh, it's very Murdoch mysteries. When she glares at me like that, I feel pins and needles all up and down my. Wait a minute, that seems familiar. Oh. Oh. Oh, look over there. We've done enough dialogue that another NPC has appeared. Yeah. The crewman, you mean? He wasn't there before, was he? Uh, that's what I thought. Oh, it's thingy. Is it? Hosanaga. Oh, it's Hosanaga. Yes. Why don't we try talking to him? Probably because I'm likely to get yelled at again, but I suppose I could try. Do you think he'll be trying to put on an accent? Yeah. <laughs> So, so, yes. so softly sp Hello. Softly spoken Russian. <laughs> da. Yeah. Is that? Nick. 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 I can't even. Nick. Nick. I can't. I can't Nick. Yeah, but saying it softly Nick. spoken is hard. Nick. Nick. Is something wrong now, Rahodo san? Oh, uh, oh no. It's just the crewman standing by the door. I, I can't have feeling like I've seen him somewhere before. Oh, yes, you're right. He does look familiar. I mean, I suppose on the original 3DS release, he'll have just looked like a bunch of pixels. You'd not be able to make him out. Excuse me, sir. Hmm. Yes? Uh, what, what can I do for you? Hey, wait a minute. Uh, Hello. I, uh, <laughs> I am the transfer sailor. <laughs> I, I, I am the transfer sailor. I just started uh, school today. I, I recognize that face, uh, but but it, it can't be. <coughs> oh. oh, yep, that's yep, him. That's, that's him. it. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I, I did not know you were here, Inspector Hosanaga. Don't tell everyone. Hello again. What are you doing here? I think that should be my line. I was so stunned when I saw you, my heart stopped. My well, heart stopped. Well, then how stopped. are you still alive? Nearly stopped, I hope. Nearly stopped. <laughs> I received some special orders to go undercover as a member of the crew and board the ship. Again? <laughs> You certainly seem to enjoy undercover work, Inspector. Hmm. If there's anything I can do to help you, please ask. Oh, that's convenient. <laughs> I never expected to see this man on board. <coughs> but perhaps his presence can help me out of this hopeless situation. We must converse with him. <laughs> Special orders. Uh, so, what are your special orders this time, Inspector? Yes, and why are you dressed as a member of the crew? What did you say? The... Mm. Uh, Hi! <laughs> I'm so sorry. Hmm? <coughs> this is all... Pete is Hosanaga. <laughs> <laughs> this... <laughs> what? <laughs> no, oh, that's mean, pal. <laughs> <laughs> This is all my fault. I take full responsibility. Uh, for... for what? My orders were to act as Asogi-san's bodyguard. Oh, uh, well, you did a good job. Oh, well, you've <gasps> done... you've... Yeah, you've done a rather poor job, I'd have to say. It was Minister of Justice, Jigaku, who pushed for this overseas study tour to go ahead. To go ahead. And he entrusted me with ensuring that Asogi-san reached Great Britain without being assassinated. Shit. Assassinated? <laughs> how, how could that have even been a possibility? I'm not sure. But these are complicated times. There are tensions between the world's greatest powers. Minister Jigoku said Jigoku? Jigoku. Jigoku said we should be prepared. At least that's not Minister G Vegeta. <laughs> 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 
said we should be prepared for all eventualities. This... this is incredible. I... I don't believe it. Kasama-sama was... assassinated? Obviously, we couldn't give Asogi-san a visible security escort. Which is why I'm undercover now, posing as one of the crew. Regrettably, I had a very large pot of coffee, and I had to go to the loo for some hours. <laughs> I see. I had a curry the night before. Oh no! And it just wouldn't. Oh, and it just no. wouldn't uh -oh. stop. Ring of fire! It just wouldn't <laughs> stop. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't take my eyes off him the entire time we've been on board, from morning until night, every day. Except for this one specific moment. But I never imagined it would happen here, inside his own cabin. Not here on the first class deck. He's dick. <laughs> his first class He's dick. dick. <laughs> no. I failed miserably at my assignment, and Asoki san is dead as a result. I'm a disgrace. All I can do is humbly apologize. Inspector. So if there's anything at all I can do to help now, just say the word. Funny you should say that, really. <laughs> I'm missing to investigate. We're doing what we can to invest. What we can? <laughs> We're doing what we can to investigate Kazuma Sam. Kazuma's death ourselves. I thought you might be. You didn't do it, did you? You didn't do it, did you? You're not. No. You're not <laughs> the killer. Of course not! We'd really like to investigate the cabin next door. That's the Maya pose that she's doing right there. It is, with yeah, the, with her hands Maya curled pose. up and. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes! So we need to be allowed out of this cabin. Hmm. I'm sorry. What? You've been deemed a risk to the ship's safety. If you move to even touch the handle of the cabin door. <laughs> so Sato, take down! <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. That stormy looking seaman there would surely snap your neck in two. Oh, God. <laughs> da. <laughs> da. I suppose I I'm not just a stowaway now. They think I'm a murderer as well. Hmm. Would it be. Would it be possible? To give me something to work with, do you think? I'm going to need something persuasive. What do you mean? If I had a solid reason why the next door cabin should be investigated, for example, I'd do everything I could to persuade the captain to allow it. Really, I'd lay my life on the line if I had to. Wow. Uh, but I, I don't see how. Maybe the diary entry about the shiny thing mm. from next door. There may be a way. Yeah. What? Really? Think of how you tried to persuade me of your own innocence, Nara Narahodo-san. By presenting me with a piece of evidence that you already <laughs> had in your possession. Oh, Jesus Christ. No! Uh, evidence? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> You've we... been in a trial! <laughs> you presented evidence in the trial! Don't say, what is evidence? <laughs> yes! Yes, Asato! <laughs> yes, that! <laughs> it's just the same as when you are in court. You must have done it many times during your trial. <sighs> well, I suppose so. Simply select the present panel. Do you think every the what? Do you think every case is going to start like this? <laughs> oh, like, God, no. like a new tutorial. I sincerely tutorial. hope not. A new tutorial every time, just in oh, case you start no. from like case five and work backwards <laughs> or something. And choose some evidence that Inspector Hosonaga could use. Well, if you play it backwards, then Cosmo comes back to life. Yeah, that's it. No. <laughs> Why do Poor you Sarah. make me sad? <laughs> so. Evidence that would give us a viable reason to investigate the next door cabin, is it? All right. Uh, yes. I, I, I think I might know what we can use. 
Let's see if I can present the detective with the evidence he needs to persuade the captain. Okay, so I think it's the di- it, it was the diary. PRESENT THIS! It was this. I would say so. Yeah, what's that? It's Kazuma's diary. Just before he died, Kazuma-sama wrote something rather strange in his diary. Hmm, strange? In what way? He wrote- hey. Oh, oh, now you- oh, you're allowed to read it. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, she, I thought she oh, was she's like- she's already oh. read it though, hasn't she? Fuck. She had to read it to, sh to her lock. <laughs> oh, I suppose, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I thought we were pointing out that the cover of the book she's holding does not at all match the cover of the journal, yeah. and they've just reused the same sprite from the mystery novel that she pulled out of her <laughs> boob pocket a minute before. <laughs> boob boob pocket. pocket. <laughs> he wrote- what looks like some kind of speckled band is dangling from the ventilator grill. A speckled band? How strange. Very strange. I can't didn't quite catch what that was. Oh, that is strange. Yes, we're still trying to work out what he meant by that. But what I'd like to know is... Don't tell me. The ventilator, is it? You're very astute, Inspector. That ventilator clearly joins the next door cabin. That's right. So if we could investigate in there, we might be able to work out what the speckled band was. Hmm. All right, then. Huh? I can't leave this cabin at the moment. I'm stuck here until we arrive at the next port. The captain has given me strict orders to guard the scene of the crime, you see. I'll have to entrust the investigation to you. Really? You're willing to do that? Yes. As long as you don't leave the first-class cabin area. I'm afraid I can't remove those handcuffs, though. But... What about the captain? Aren't you going against his direct orders? <coughs> I'm a man of my word. And I promise you that I'll lay my life on the line if that's what it takes to convince the captain. After all, I failed to keep Asogi-san safe. This is the least I can do. Thank you. Let's seize the moment then, Narahodo-san. <laughs> Hold on, where do you think you're going? <laughs> Just select move and we can leave this cabin at last. Don't mind them, it's fine. They're with me, only I'm going to stay move. here. Move. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can find out. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Wait, no, you can't just use that. You have to go through me first. <laughs> I will break your neck like twig. <laughs> oh, dang it. Look at that mouse trap. That look like a mouse trap. It That's is a, a mouse big trap. ass mouse trap. A big ball of cheese. We have big Russian rats aboard. Oh, Cheek. Big Russian rats. <laughs> the first class cabin passageway. Phew. I'm finally out of that cabin. I have to admit, this isn't quite what I was expecting. It's less spacious out here than I thought it would be. And this is the most luxurious accommodation. Ships are tiny, dude. Like the <laughs> even even the like the fancy rooms are like ickle ickle rooms. Ickle ickle rooms. Yes indeed. Kazuma Sama was being sent on his study tour by the government. That is why he was being put up in a first class cabin. Yes, because government surely wouldn't just spend the least amount of money possible and put them down with the freaking bilge rats. Mm. Even still, this is about twice as large as my accommodation in steerage. Really? That must be awful. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, oh, no! That, that is a man spread! That is... <laughs> oh, look over there! It's just like... Oh my goodness. Wow. Sasato, avert your eyes. <laughs> that's uh, that's another crewman keeping watch. And he looks enormous, even if he is sitting down. Thank you. <laughs> Unfortunately, 
Short is too small, so expose midriff. <laughs> Very tantalizing to one of the crew member. <laughs> I am told I am cutest crewman on ship. <laughs> With his little freckles. Yeah. The door next to him leads to second class accommodation. I suppose he's making sure that no one comes in here who shouldn't. I suppose. Like people in handcuffs? Mm -mm. Marahodo-san, you look like a little boy visiting a toy shop for the first time. It's an odd statement to make. It really is. I would have thought you'd be used to the ship by now. We have been at sea for two weeks Have you already. forgotten I've been locked in a wardrobe for this entire time? <laughs> well, yes, I know, but the thing is... I was inside Kazuma's trunk when I first came aboard. And ever since then, I've been shut up inside that little wardrobe. And it does not lead to Narnia, I can assure you. <laughs> it must have been a very trying time for you. Oh, now you feel sorry for me. Mm. Oh, please, don't give me that pitying look. You're only going to throw me on the floor in a minute anyway. Uh. Mm. Okay. So, uh, I guess, do we move again? No, okay, we need to investigate first. Examine. Examine. What are these, Examine. What are these books? That's a huge book on top of the table there. No, that's actually a small, it's a small book. No. Just like the bolt was small. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a pen next to it. Oh, yes. Yes, that looks like the ship's log. Shall we have a little look through no, it? No, that's naughty. The hey, wait a minute. <laughs> The person who... Never mind, I don't care. Not paid to look at books. The ship, <laughs> the, the ship might get all embarrassed that you're reading all of its dirty secrets. <laughs> Just like Kazuma. Ah, uh, oh bother, it's in Russian. <laughs> oh. uh, the writing is so neat and precise. Every detail about the voyage has been meticulously recorded. Hmm. You wouldn't expect a rough and ready sailor to have such beautiful handwriting. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. <laughs> And, uh, nothing. No reaction at all. I thought he might appreciate the compliment. I'm not sure that rough and ready is much of a compliment, Narahoda-san, even to a sailor. Anyway, last night's log is mostly blank. Presumably that means there was nothing to report. Hmm. Okay. I guess we're going to have to talk to him, aren't gonna, we? Yeah. Or do we... Wait, so... Don't you touch alarm bell. <laughs> Don't do it or I force your nose in rat trap. Oh, no. Uh oh. Yikes. Ah, a trap for catching mice. Yes, we have plenty of those back home in Japan. Although they seem to be using a lump of chalk or something as bait. Oh. It's not... okay. Let me see. Yes, I think that is what's called cheese. It is made from the milk of cows. Oh, is that a thing? You carry around a book that has cheese? No. Information about cheese it? <laughs> cheese it. Cheez -its. Information <laughs> about cheese it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ch cheese? I wonder what that tastes like. Oh, huh, okay. Maybe if I'll just have a little nibble. You can't eat it, Narahodo-san. The trap will snap shut on your fingers. Really? But, oh, uh, I suppose you're right. You weren't actually going to try it, were you? No. <laughs> what I've had to eat for the past couple of weeks is Kazuma's leftovers. Apart from that nice chicken, of course. Yeah, which really nice chicken. Mm -hmm. You don't know how hungry I've been in that wardrobe. <sighs> Poor you. I'll find a little snack for you later. And then I will... Give oh. you the Susato takedown <laughs> for looking at me or something. Okay, door number one. That first class cabin number one. Yes, that's our cabin. Oh, okay. Not our cabin. It's Kazuma Samus. Sorry. <laughs> Your accommodation is confined to the wardrobe inside the cabin. You know how to make a stowaway feel small, don't you? Small as the wardrobe I've been calling home. 
These cabins are for the finest on the ship. My own cabin in steerage is number 539, by the way. 500 and... How many cabins are there? It's quite, quite a few. Quite a lot. <laughs> it's quite a few cabins. Let's touch the bell. Oh, well, there's there at least go. 539, Narahodo. No. <laughs> what do you think this is? <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I like how... No! Taylor, you would immediately no. jump on it. Oh, I'd uh, <laughs> immediately jump on it, would he? Oh. <laughs> That's oh. rude! <laughs> I can't be the only one who sees that. I can't. I can't. I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't see it until you pointed it out. No, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice bell. End. It's got a nice bell on it. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Cesato's response to this. It's going to be bad, oh. isn't it? <laughs> what do you think this is? It's a very pleasing shape, isn't it? That's the emergency alarm. It's probably best not to touch it. Oh, an alarm. It says, press only in times of emergency. It looks as though it sets alarm bells ringing all over the ship and brings the vessel to a complete stop. And brings the vessel to a stop. Wow. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Do you want, oh did you want to say your line, Taylor? <laughs> it wasn't me. Yeah. Just bring up, bring up the log again. <laughs> Like, oh. Yeah. oh, this I have to what see. What are you doing, Narahodo-san? You must not touch it. But this is an emergency situation. Just look at these handcuffs. <laughs> you know full well that's not what the alarm is for. If you were to bring this vessel to a standstill for no good reason, you'd be in an even worse situation. Uh, I wish everything would just stop. This ship included. Oh dear. If you have to do something foolish, at least make it something that doesn't affect anyone else. Yeah. You foolishly yeah. foolish fool. This is it. This is the cabin next to ours. The one the ventilator connects to. Yes. The ventilator from which Kazuma-sama wrote that he saw a speckled band emerging. The speckled band, which emerged from the ventilator. Written by Kazuma. No, Makoto, get out. Get out of this game. I, mean, I, I do feel like it, they haven't mentioned Speckled Band quite enough. They could probably mention it a few more times. The band possessing of speckles no. from the ventilator no. which dangled. No. Deadly, 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 no. deadly, deadly. <laughs> maybe, maybe whoever's in this cabin can help solve that particular mystery. Let's. Ask. You're right. You're right. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh my. Wow. Belly. Wow, he's a unit. Belly button. May I help? Oh my. Oh. <laughs> oh. Um. I like the sunburn. Yeah. <laughs> uh, excuse me. Um, we we need to get inside this uh, cabin here. So, do we think this guy's the other guy's brother? Maybe. I, I bet they'll be brothers. Yeah. Look at his arms, Whoa. man. <laughs> oh, I suppose he doesn't like that idea. But this sailor's eyes speak volumes. They're clearly saying keep out. That's what I wrote in the sign we put over the wardrobe doors. Although this man's version is definitely more effective. It doesn't look like he's going to let us pass. Hmm, that's a problem. Well, I guess we buggered it, mate. Do we have to ring the alarm? Well, we we can't ring the alarm, can we? Maybe we, we can... Well, we didn't have a good reason before. Maybe. Uh, um, excuse me, but uh, could I ask you something? You. You. <laughs> you little stowaway murderer. Uh. That wasn't a good start, was it? All right. Let me try instead. Hello. Good day, Mr. Sailor. <laughs> I'm so sorry to trouble you, but could I perhaps ask something of you? You? You little third class ladies, mate! Oh. Wow. Oh. Ouchie. We seem to have caught the sailor on a bad day, Susato san. I 
am not sailor. My mother gave me name. Shrugganoff. I am oh, senior crewman. Biff. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. That, is, that is a good I one. I am it. senior crewman. Biff Stroganoff. I, like, it is a good one. I have to say, I love it. I, I, I love they, it. they did a good one Biff that time. Stroganoff. You know, I, I only just noticed their neckerchiefs look like a fish from the side. Oh, so they do. Oh, so it does. So they do. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Phew. Oh, the best thing is to just avoid eye contact, I think. Okay. Do we do we have the other uh, guy? Ah, oh, he's not in there. I wanted to see what his name was. Oh, this guy's been added to the court record, though. So, oh. could be interesting. He's probably going to come up again. Is the other one is Mush. Mush struggling off. <laughs> <laughs> mush tree struggling off. No, it's going to be like Borscht or something. Borscht. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, um uh, uh, Mr. Stroganov, about this first-class cabin area. Here we are in finest part of Burya steamship for very important persons. What sort of very important persons? Government officials, kings and queens traveling in secret, many important persons. That is why I am always guarding this place. Gosh, that's amazing. But somehow I let stupid stowaway inside. I want to pick you up and throw you in ocean. But Stroganov is not edible. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. No, it mm. is in fact a delicious dish. <laughs> Biff Stroganov. I'm ne I'm never gonna get over that. <laughs> <laughs> If I may, I was wondering, is the cabin next to Mr. Asogi's currently occupied? Da. 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 <laughs> da. Um, Sato-san, did you understand that? It sounded like da. I think it's probably Russian for yes or no. <laughs> Uh, genius. <laughs> wow. It is not permitted to visit other cabins without invitation. <gasps> well, it sounds like there is somebody in the next door cabin at least. Oh, I think we know who that is. Mm. Yes, it's tantalizing. Mm. Mm. Da 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 da. Uh, could you tell us who's traveling in the cabin next to Mr. Asogi's? No. <laughs> His name is Mr. Grimesby Roylott. Grimesby Roylott. Grimesby Roylott. Roylott Grimesby? Right. No, that's got to be a pun, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I, can't, yeah, I, I, was I mean, that does just sounds like, or maybe it sounds like an average British name. <laughs> yes, we have lots of Mister Grimesby Roy lots here. <laughs> like Roy, lo right, lot of grime, maybe or something. Roy, lo oh, I don't know. I don't. He know. is very important Western gentleman. A Western gentleman. Do not think about it. He has nothing to do with murder of student boy. How can you be so sure about that? Mr. Roylott is authentic Western gentleman. Such a man would have no interest in lowly student from insignificant Far East Islands. Mm. Oh. That was harsh. Indeed. Also familiar. <laughs> Could you tell us when Mr. Roylott came aboard? Mm, that is not your business. Come to think of it, even though we've been at sea for two weeks now and I've been in Cosm's cabin the entire time, I've never once heard anything from the next door cabin, or even felt like there's anyone there. Well, presumably since this gentleman is occupying one of the first class cabins, he must be rather important, is that right? Mm, that is not your business. 
Yeah. Um, are, are you on watch here all the time, Seaman Stroganov? Duh. All time. So caramels <laughs> like you cannot come so in. So caramels. Or get out. Uh, no caramel. caramels. Caramels. I wonder, could you tell us anything about last night at all? It is sad about student boy. Were you on watch last night as well? Mm, of course. And did you notice anything at the time? Anything unusual? Mm, uh, hit! Hit. Uh, hit. <laughs> um, Susato-san, did you understand that? It was clearly a no. <laughs> oh, yet. Yet, I guess. Well, okay. I saw nothing unusual, nothing at all. And you didn't hear any strange noises or, or sense anything was wrong. In Wait a minute. <laughs> You're being mighty suspicious right now. <laughs> You're lucky, sus. Or sen that, 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 that's that's that, that's the X to doubt. That's yeah, it, right? yeah, that's, it really yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> or sense anything was wrong in some way? I said no! Oh, jeez. Very defensive. <laughs> Sorry! I'm not so sure. I could have sworn that he wouldn't catch my eye for a moment there. But it was so subtle, I'm not <laughs> sure if those in the audience <laughs> noticed. <laughs> this is enough. I cannot say more now. Oh. It is time for me to report to Captain. You must return to cabin. Yes, all right. Bulkhead to second class area is staying locked at all times. You escape when the lobster whistles on the top of the mountain, or as English say, <laughs> When the pigs fly. <laughs> the lobster whistles the on the top of the mountain. on top of the mountain. Ah, uh, yes. The famous saying. The famous Russian saying. Y yes, I <clears throat> understand. Sure. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Now we can investigate this area properly. Shall we? Definitely. So... I mean, I'm presuming nothing's going to really change, because, I mean, he didn't stop us from investigating anything other than the door, right? Mm. We'll just use the door. Just the, just the door. This is it. This is the cabin next to ours. The one the ventilator connects to. Yep, that's it. Yes, the ventilator from which cabin is... <laughs> <That's it. laughs> okay, okay, so hang yeah, on I think... Because think... haven't we already said it? There we go. We haven't heard this bit, so... <laughs> yeah. Maybe whoever's in this particular cabin can help solve that particular mystery. Let's ask! Yes, the mystery of the speckled da -da 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 -da. band, which was dangling knock, knock. from the ventilator shaft knock, knock. that was written down by Cosimo. Dot, 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 dot. No answer. We just have to barge in, then. We're out of luck, it seems. There's no one in there to help us. Oh. <laughs> huh? What? There's no one here to help. Uh, there's no one in there to help us with our inquiries. How annoying! Oh! Ah! <laughs> what was that? It came from inside the cabin. Such a high-pitched scream. Oh, sorry. It must have been a woman. Ah! <laughs> there we go. There we go. Stand aside. Stand Hello. aside. Are you, uh, there he is. Stand aside. <laughs> I'm about to break the door down. Mr. Sholmes. I shan't be stopped. When it, when the fit is on me, I revel in kicking doors off their hinges. Please, wait, Mr. Sholmes. The door doesn't appear to be bolted. It doesn't? It doesn't? Then how can I did you... Sorry. <laughs> I was going to freaking deduce. Then how the deuce can I dispatch this muscular urge? What prey can I kick? Uh, uh. I, I I I think we should go in. This this is no time to think about stress relief. Curses. Ninth January <laughs> SS Burya first class cabin, cabin number, number two. two. Oh my! Oh, who are you? Oh, okay. who is he? 
no. No. No, we got we still got time. Uh, so, like, <laughs> wait a second. Wait a second. A Western gentleman. This man looks Russian to me. <laughs> wait. <laughs> uh, wow. <laughs> you do? We we heard a woman scream. A woman? Don't be absurd. As you can see, there's nobody but me in this cabin. I love how it's like snippy snipping with the scissors. <laughs> snip, it's like snip. why? <laughs> True, this old man does appear to be the only person in here. But in that case, who just screamed? Who did scream? Uh, <laughs> get out, all of you, now! Please excuse the introdu uh, uh, no, introduction. I can't, I can't speak. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm so, I'm just cruising to death today, apparently. <laughs> Please excuse wow. the intrusion, but you're Mr. Grimesby Roylot, I believe. Yes, that's me. And you are? I am the one and only, the actual Sherlock. Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh, and you, you said it was me. me. It was it was me. me. He's gonna mess up. I am the <laughs> one and only. I told you, I'm cruising to death. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's okay, darling. <laughs> I am the one and only, the actual Herlock Sholmes. You have heard of me, no doubt. No. <laughs> uh, oh. I am a great detective among great detectives. One who adorns the cover of popular magazines, no less. So I assure you, you may trust me completely. The man uses that magazine like a business card. <laughs> a detective? Hmm. I do not trust detectives. I don't trust shady Russian gentlemen wielding scissors. <laughs> we distinctly heard a scream emanating from within these walls. But there wouldn't appear to be a lady concealing herself within the wardrobe this time. So might I be so bold as to ask you to open that small traveling oh, case? Oh yes, really, she's gonna fold it as a... What? Don't be stupid. How could anyone fit in a small trunk like that? And then Rienoske just like <laughs> in, in pieces. <laughs> in pieces, oh god. <laughs> yeah, how could anyone fit in a small trunk? <laughs> nah. Well, it's quite fashionable these days, is it not? Travelling's inside inside one's trunk. Don't look at me. <laughs> <gasps> oh. What? Uh. What? Oh my! Did you just see that, Mr. Narahodo? Yes! The case just, just shook! The I'm shook it! Leave! Now! Otherwise I call the steward! So this is Kazuma's neighbor, Mr. Grimesby Roylot. <laughs> There's no doubt about it. This strange Russian man is hiding something. I couldn't agree more. Let's see if we can find some clues before that burly sailor returns. Uh. Okay. Uh, what, what, <laughs> it's in the wardrobe! <laughs> oh, it's... Just got to sleep in the wardrobe. Okay, we have to look at the case. We've got to yeah. look at the case. What do you think you're doing? Ah! This is my cabin! Get out! Hmm. Could we just have a quick look inside your traveling case, perhaps? No! Uh, uh, oh, what a pity. I think we're out of luck. I think you're right. There doesn't appear to be anything more we can do. I agree. But there may be someone else who can help. Perhaps that great detective could get someone with Mr. Roynard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Interesting. Oh, about it's... The, the... I'm the... I wonder if there's like the boat's like rocked or something. Well, yeah, maybe. But I thought it was interesting as well that the books look the same. It's even got the strange figure. Yeah, yeah. The uh, the aquatic god, mm. as it were. Um, uh, do you have a moment, please, Mr. Sholmes? <laughs> you need only address me as Sholmes. That's what I I just did, isn't it? Well. Oh, that's you. Uh, well, um, Mr. Sholmes, what were you doing in there? 
What was he doing uh, in there? No. <laughs> no. Nope. We still yeah. got time. <laughs> you know you what you're doing. What you're doing is. Have you ever heard the story of the boy who cried wolf? <laughs> <laughs> With the little sheepsies in the field getting eaten by the wolf. <laughs> Why, I was resting, of course. Oh, I. Resting? Indeed. I was contemplating our sea voyage from the confines of the wardrobe whilst waiting. Waiting for the inevitable time that you would need to call my great powers of detection into service. Uh, oh! And it would seem that the hour is upon us now. The time has come. Am I mistaken? Well, um, no. Actually, you're spot on. For once. Observe closely. <laughs> Our Russian host in this cabin, Mr. Roylot, is clearly trying to hide something. And do you know what is the most effective weapon to use against a Russian hiding a secret? No. Why? The truth. Oh, of really? <laughs> though it should be point, though it should be pointed out that such methods are not exclusively for the <laughs> Russians. Uh, well, then why did you phrase it that <laughs> way? Right. Can you imagine how the Russian will react when the secret he guards so closely is exposed? Should you like to witness? What? Well, sorry. Would you like to witness it? Oh yes, please. Well then, what are you, what you are about to see may well astound you. For I am about to apply my great detective's greatly admired great deduction to the case. <laughs> hey. That's my Could thing. Could this man be a more hackneyed portrayal of a dubious Russian? I ask you. <laughs> what? <laughs> From time to time, it occurs to me. Is the fellow dubious on account of his Russianness, or Russian on the account of his dubiousness? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I really don't think either of those things should be occurring to you. Or anyone. That's right. And Mr. Sholmes, I know this man's beard and dark glasses are hard to ignore, especially on first meeting, but I once read... <coughs> it is a capital mistake to theorize before you have all the evidence. It biases the judgment. Well, I, I mean, that literally contradicts, like, his whole modus operandi. Shh! I must have complete silence. Hmm. W what are you doing? Why are you peering at my face like that? Hmm. Yes. Ah, just as I thought. Yes, I have quite made up my mind now. Mm -hmm. There can be no other explanation that accommodates all the facts. Mr. Roylot, I have reached two incontro incontrovertible conclusions. But what are those conclusions? Because for actual this time, we're out of time. Cut your tail what? what? Neat. Neat. <laughs> But in the meantime, thank you so very much for watching this episode. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves. If you like what we do, then like, comment and subscribe. Ring that little notification bell so you can be notified of our next episode, which we are now uploading twice a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Well, and if you want to reach out to us on social media, our links are in the description down below. Uh, let us know what you think, if you like what we do and maybe even your favourite character. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. But until next time, thank you again for watching and see you later, guys. See you later. And don't forget, this episode has been brought to you by Heard Up Chef! <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Toodaloo, everyone, and take care. <laughs>